Come on now, people. I've been telling you for almost two years now, you need to have a GNR TV. And now sports are back. Football is back. Now is the perfect time for you to get this if you don't have it already. And if you look on over here, as I've been telling you before, you get all these amazing channels, every single one of them, for $20 a month for two devices. And if you look on up over here, it's written. It's written everything you get with GNR TV. If you want four devices, $40. And there's some cool extras right here. GNR TV, streaming done right. If you don't have it, get it. What more can I say? What more can I say? It's time to cut the damn cord, stop being ripped off by the dish and cable, and get this lovely thing we call GNR TV. Streaming done right. How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Here, welcome to another episode of Horror Research 30. I have my guest, Joe. Joe, how's it going? It's going. How you doing? I'm doing great. And as you guys can see behind me, we got a pre-release of the tent. Zero spoilers. And I'm getting better at this, people. I've gotten a couple <laughs> of these screeners and did a couple of these indie shorts where I don't spoil the movie. So we're going to attempt this one more time. Well, again, not one more time, but again. And again, we're doing, oh, this way, the tent. I have to get better at this point and shit. This right here, the tent, right there. Not here. <laughs> it's just because I'm looking at the, the monitor and it's opposite. I'll get it down one day. But I just, I watched, I was actually watching it. I watched about two hours ago and I was watching football because my the Niners had already won. So, you know, nothing else was important, important for me. <laughs> and I have it on again. As you know, I watch movies on mute after just to kind of go through it again and uh my thing is hiking alone is not safe at all like not even trying to make like a race joke about it but you go for walks in your neighborhood that's one thing but you're just going off into the woods by yourself with headphones out and jogging i know some people think it's normal because they grew up doing that but people end up missing a lot mm -hmm. like, and whether they're falling down or somebody snatches them or an animal and like she doesn't have, she's wearing leggings. She has no pockets, I guess. I don't know where the hell she has her music player unless it's stuffed in. Oh, it's in her little bag. It's on her arm. Okay. I'm assuming she doesn't have a knife just in case or pepper spray or something. Like, this is just, to me, it's just common sense things to have when you're, a, especially being a female going out like this running, just in the woods. Right. I think to her, she was probably like, well, at least I told my friend. No. Yeah, and I, from the text messages, I'm guessing they're supposed to be meeting up, but her friend's late as shit. <laughs> I don't know what the right? hell doing. I'm just like, God damn. Like, she should always have the buddy system because stranger danger is real. Yeah, so. you should. You really should. And she definitely didn't. I wouldn't, I, this is, I mean, I don't like, I don't like hikes anyway, but this isn't something I would do on my own, just walking through the woods or jogging through the woods. Definitely really? No, not alone. Have you have you ever have you ever gone hiking in the woods? Yeah, I've been hiking here and there. Um, I've been camping, so but it was in a cabin, which was freaking amazing. I love that cabin. Oh yeah. But I mean, that was like a family thing. But it, it's just something that I wouldn't do solo, just for the simple fact of, I mean, a lot of times, I mean, she gets signal though, so that's good. She's not deep in the woods, I guess. But that's good. <laughs> a lot of times you go out in the woods, you don't get any damn signal, <laughs> so that sucks. Unless a bear eats her and drags her off, then she's fucked. <laughs> or or uh, what is it? A, like a mountain lion? Oh, yeah. I forgot about a mountain lion. And I'm just, that's my main, that's like my main thing. That's one of my fears is that and crazy people. It's animals mm -hmm. and crazy people in the woods. I do not want to mess with that. I don't know. But if you, know that. It, well, if you had to choose between one or the other, which would you rather encounter, the animal or the crazy person? What kind of animal is it? A big ass one that's gonna rip you in pieces. I guess. <laughs> I guess because I mean, at the end of the day, if it's a guy, I can kick him in the nuts. <laughs> I can't really. I don't think I. But I wouldn't be able to do that successfully to a bear or anything else. You can scare off bears, though, can't you? Like, do, are, oh wait, yeah, yeah, you can scare off bears. Like, don't you have to like, growl and like act like you're bigger than it and shit? I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't think I can act bigger than a bear. I really don't. <laughs> I'm a tiny, real white woman. I can't help myself. I'm about to start crying. <laughs> <laughs> don't hit me, please. What are you supposed to 
do. The bear probably just feels sorry for you. He's like, oh my God, and just walk away. It's, I'd be like, weird. you don't want to eat me. I taste like coffee and fast food. It's not good. So. <laughs> like, come on, man. We're both brown. But this, we got to stop this violence. Right. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm here. <laughs> I will say with this movie, though, the cinematography is freaking amazing. And like, it was. The surrounding is, the surrounding is beautiful. I understand why people do love hiking. Like, my wife loves hiking. My brother loves hiking. I hate it, so I just don't go. <laughs> but again, the whole alone thing, like you're saying with the whole buddy system and just as you've seen in this movie, which we're not going to spoil, mm-hmm. some crazy shit ends up happening. And I'm not saying it could have been prevented if she had her friend there, but maybe she wouldn't have gotten herself into certain situations. She wouldn't have got as scared as easy if she had somebody else there with her. Mm-hmm. But who knows? One loss. And this, uh, what is this? What does it say? Oh, October 1st. I'm reading behind you to see oh, yeah. when it's actually airing. Yep. It's, th- this movie's coming out October 1st, I believe, on a bunch Wednesday. of platforms. I'm not sure. Or actually, they're probably like right behind me, kind of, but I can't really see them because it's like behind my chair and everything. But mm-hmm. just believe me, people. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the cool thing, though, was they were just looking for people to review it. And I was like, shit, why not do a screener? Why not? I mean, it's cool. And they did, um, I think it was two years ago, they did a, they did a short called uh, Spirit, of ha- Spirit of Haddonfield, which I highly, highly, highly recommend. Hmm. I'll have to send that to you. Absolutely. That's, that's out on YouTube. And then this, this was different, though. And I, I wish I can say what happened in here and why I liked it. Because, like, at first, you just see the girl running. And then mm-hmm. crazy shit happens. And I'm just like, when the crazy shit happens, it picks up for me. Because you were just talking about this before we started recording. <laughs> he was like, I gotta hurry up and try to watch this. And, oh, man. Oh, I hurried. <laughs> I, know. I know. She was trying to be on time, people. Yes. <laughs> but she's a little Spanish, so they're kind of late. <laughs> Poquito. <laughs> so we- what were your thoughts on this? Um, you really want to know? Yeah. <laughs> I honestly, I, eh, I was just kind of meh with it. I didn't, I mean, yeah, um, the, the scary shit was pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Um, can't talk about it, obviously, but it was pretty cool. Take my word for it. Um, but the rest of it, I just, I don't know, like the, the lead up into everything, was, it was pretty long. It felt kind of monotonous. There were little tiny breaks in here and there, but it, for me, it just felt like there could have been more to it. Just a little bit more to it. Yeah. But I did like the, uh, when the scary shit went down, I did like that, so. I, th- I think it was kind of like that, though, to kind of throw you off, in a sense. Mm-hmm. So you're not like, right, I, I don't know. Because if, this, if that, the stuff that happened, if it happened sooner, it would have been over too quick, and we would have known, like, but this movie right here, people, is a good reason why you should not go in the woods alone. It is. <laughs> Besides common sense. And, like, when you hear, like, me, for example, if I hear noises in the woods, usually, like, you know, around here, I'm good. You hear noises in the city, you're like, okay, that, I know what that was. I'm fine. But you're in the mm-hmm. woods, you hear a bunch of noises, and then you don't know where to go. You don't know where to run. I'm going to panic. <laughs> It'd be real embarrassing. It'd be even more embarrassing. Like, say if I say if I started to panic and I'm screaming like a girl, and I'm not even that deep in the woods, I run out. People are just like, "What the fuck? What's wrong with me?" Well, you know what? This would honestly, this would be true in a like, oh, that kind of sucks and kind of funny way at the same time. But if I were to run in the woods, I would be that typical white girl that falls because I'm not a good runner. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, I, I do fall when I run because I do have weak ankles. So. <laughs> I'm I'm done. I'm done. I I can try all I want. I'm done. So save yourself. Save yourself. Sturdy. Oh, I definitely would. I'm no. <laughs> I'm letting everybody know that right now. I am no hero. You better just run with me. Just listen. If I say run, just run. You see me run, just run. Like I'm I'm one of those people which I'm not gonna bring these things up. But let's just say as a kid, teen years, you're doing stupid shit. You gotta run for a reason. I just take off. I feel like I'm like gliding in air, just gliding, running. Didn't trip or nothing. If I'm running for fun, exhausted, probably fell. But running scared, just take off. Got all the breath in the world till you get to your destination. 
where shit kind of calms down. You're all out of breath and still scared, but you're good because you're like, I got away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a heart attack right now, but I got away. <laughs> I'm good. Oh, man. And I, you know what I do like about this? What I, I, I can mention is the colors. Like the red. I like the red. Red's my favorite color. I, just, I mean, you uh, see the red in here. There's a lot of red in this movie. And it was. It was a fun time, though. I will say that. It was a good time. And we're probably going to end this episode soon so I can say more things that I like about it without spoiling it for you guys. <laughs> you have anything else you want to say about it? Um, watch it, for sure. Because everybody's opinion is going to be different. So, But I do, I do suggest watching it because, you know, the, cool, the, the scary part, like I said, you know, it was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Didn't see it coming. It was pretty cool. So you guys, watch it. There you go. Definitely. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> just, just give it a watch. Give it a watch on October first. You have no reason not to. It's indie horror. We love indie horror. You gotta support it. Give it a watch, and also watch Spirit of Haddonfield. And that's pretty much. This is like a little short special. So that's I'm. Oh. I'm finished. <laughs> <laughs> you already again, Joe. Thank you for coming on again. This was a great Thanks time. <laughs> Did you want to plug your stuff or? Oh yeah. Uh I mean, I guess we don't, I don't have to do this every time I'm here, <laughs> That's but I, you know but I will. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got any last words on um, Monday and Wednesday night at eight California time on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch live. Definitely go check out any last words podcast. You will be very, very entertained. Again, Joe, thanks for coming on. My listeners, my viewers, just look up Horror Research 30 on Facebook youtube and all your streaming platforms and if you ever want to be on an episode shoot me an email horrorresearch.30 at gmail.com thank you all for watching as always i'll see you